Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I also thank uh, uh, you for convening today's meeting. Uh, we appreciate the briefing by SRSG Otun Bayeva on the situation in Afghanistan, particularly the recent developments. The insights uh, provided by OCHA and uh, civil society representative was also very useful. Mr. President, India is a contiguous neighbor to Afghanistan. India has historical and civilizational ties with the people of Afghanistan. These long-standing linkages continue to guide our relations with Afghanistan. India is closely monitoring the developments given its impact on neighboring countries like us. Our objective is to establish long-term peace, security, and stability of Afghanistan and well-being of its people. In this context, allow me to place the following observations. One, benchmarks set by the Security Council through its resolution 2593 should continue to guide the international community's approach towards Afghanistan. Our common priorities include the need to counter terrorism, bring in inclusive governance, safeguard the rights and interests of women, children, and minorities, counter narcotics, and prioritize humanitarian assistance for the well-being of the people of the country. It is also important that Afghanistan's territory is not used to spread instability in the region, or to encourage extremist ideologies. Two, India has been a trusted partner of Afghanistan for many years in development and humanitarian assistance. India has delivered material humanitarian assistance consisting of 50,000 metric tons of wheat, 250 tons of medical aid, and 25 tons of earthquake relief aid. We have continued educational scholarship to more than 4,000 students, including 600 Afghan girls. We have also partnered with various UN agencies, including WFP and UNODC in their humanitarian efforts. Our development partnership has included more than 500 projects spread across each of the 34 provinces of the country in critical areas of power, water supply, road connectivity, healthcare, education, agriculture, and capacity building. Three, India have been participating actively in the meetings of special envoys on Afghanistan hosted by Qatar in Doha. We strongly support the consensus that international community must move forward on all issues pertains to Afghanistan in a consultative and transparent process. Four, our bilateral trade and commerce are ongoing, including through the Chabrahar port in Iran. The signing of contract to develop Chabrahar port in Iran recently is a testament to our commitment towards realizing the potential of the place as a connectivity hub for Afghanistan. In closing, Mr. President, we reaffirm our unwavering commitment to the people of Afghanistan. India will continue to extend full cooperation in every initiative to help the Afghan society. I thank you.